I have a PC. All right, so I decided to come into the office on a weekend, mostly because I couldn't wait till Monday. My first PC in over 20 years is here, and I can't wait to get it set up. Let's do it. First, I wanted to show you the office and how everything's set up because this is gonna be a unique situation where my machine is gonna be in a different room than where I work. So here's the main office. This is where my old Mac Pro is. Um, but this is not where I do most of my work. Right through this door, you'll see my recording office. Now this is where I can do tutorials. Here's where the microphone is and my, you know, my stand-up desk. And this is where I can be louder and record stuff without bugging anyone else in the office. However, there's a downside to that. Um, this room is small and uh, there's not a lot of ventilation in here, which means I don't wanna put the PC in here. A lot of people told me they can get loud and they can really warm up a room. So rather than have this machine here where it could produce too much noise maybe for a tutorial or unnecessarily heat up this room, I'm actually gonna put the machine uh, out here in the main office, probably in that corner there uh, where the box is, and then um, once it's all set up, so I'm gonna set it up on this main desk, get it all working, make sure it's all working, and once it's all set up, I'm gonna run wires through this wall so that I can use the machine here while I do tutorials. Okay, uh, it's already smaller than that giant box, so that's good news. Let's see what else we got. It might be a little dark, but uh, here's what we're working with here. We got the cards. Uh, looks like we got the power supply, all the drives, everything up front. Looks like we might have to install the drives. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so I just got done unboxing everything. It was pretty painless. It wasn't quite the uh, Apple experience I'm used to where the boxes are easy to open and it's all just ready to go. I had to put the monitor together, had to put some stuff in the PC together and make sure it's all, uh, check all the cables and all that stuff. But overall, uh, it's pretty painless. And uh, so let's turn this thing on and let's see if it's working. Okay, I didn't plug it in but that's, my, that's on me. I'm hitting what I think is the power button, and uh, so far no power. Again, probably on me. There's probably a secret power button here somewhere. I was missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. The power button is on the front. It's a big old button, and I missed it. Okay, something's happening. We did it. Um, I'm so excited I forgot to plug a keyboard in. I'll be right back. Aha, ethernet, more cables to put in. Signing in with Microsoft. I don't know if I have a login. I don't know if it's the same as like, I have an Xbox Microsoft account. So let's see what happens. I messed up. Okay, I think I fixed it. 
uh, or I, I looked it up. <laughs> I didn't fix it. Um, if you accidentally do whatever I just did and get into this magnifier, you could turn it off by hitting Windows and Minus. Hi, Windows. Okay, so step one achieved. We got everything unboxed. We got it all hooked up. It seems to be working okay. We are online um, and we're, Windows is open. So that was the goal today. We unboxed it all, we got it all set up, and it was not as bad as I thought. It was a little bit different from the usual Mac experience where everything's just kind of drop it on your desk and go. But overall, it wasn't so, wasn't so painful. First thing I'm gonna do is get my Wacom working because I cannot stand this mouse. <laughs> so we're gonna figure out Wacom drivers, we're gonna get Cinema installed, we're gonna do all that stuff. When it comes to using it for Cinema 4D and Adobe and you know, After Effects and all that stuff, you're gonna love your new PC, I promise. That's what you told me. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so step one might be a little bit different than your step one, but my main concern right now is getting something that will record my screen. And um, I was looking it up on my phone, and so far I can't see anything that records your screen that's built into Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and download OBS, which we use all the time to record and do live streaming. And so that's my first task on Windows. Success, we have Wacom working, which is good. You move around the screen now, and uh, the magnifier keeps popping up. Uh, I don't know if it's me, if I'm hitting something, but this magnifier thinks I love it, and I don't, I just wanna close it. Get out of your magnifier. Uh, I think the next step is um, getting Chrome installed, since all my stuff revolves around Chrome, uh, and then getting Dropbox installed and, um, and, then, and then we can start to do the fun stuff like putting in Cinema 4D and all that. Magnifier. What is up, Magnifier? I'm gonna see if I can turn this thing off. Turn on Magnifier. On, off. That was easy. Okay, so a few things so far, just using Windows. Um, the Alt tab from Mac works. So if you have other programs open, you could Alt tab and then uh, let go and it'll pop open the window that you're using. I use that all the time, so I'm glad that it's here. I should have known this, but all my Chrome stuff just synced, including my one password. I gotta put, re-put my passwords in, but um, I don't have to reset all that up. Chrome is another thing I didn't think I would love until I started using it. And uh, same with all the Google products. And so maybe Windows will be the same, let's see. All right, so I got Dropbox installed. It's currently syncing all my files. Um, got Chrome installed, got my basic setup going. Um, the next move is installing Cinema 4D and uh, installing Redshift as well. So let's go do it. All right, I had my first copy paste mix up. Uh, copy paste is in a different part of the keyboard. Um, uh, the modifier key than on Mac. Uh, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but for now, I'm, I, I think I'll make that mistake quite a few more times. But uh, definitely some things to get used to. All right, Cinema 4D is downloading. Uh, I'm getting excited, let's go. Ooh, a restart. Okay, so everything is currently downloading to my Dropbox. There's a ton of files, all the Grayscale Gorilla plugins I need to install, all that stuff is currently syncing to the machine. I figured while I was waiting, I would download Cinebench and see exactly how fast this new machine is. So, let's do it. CPU, run. That's a lot of buckets. Okay, so I got a score of 4,756. I've seen much higher, um, closer to about 6,000. So I'm sure there's other things I could tweak that I don't quite know about, but that's the out of the box score. Uh, I'm also screen recording, which might cut down a little bit on the number. All right, let's do, uh, let's do uh, GPU. Okay, so we got 110 frames per second on GPU. I'm not sure how that compares. It's been a long time since I've uh, clicked the GPU button uh, coming from a Mac. You know, just kind of ignore the GPU stuff and concentrate only on CPU. 
uh, since none of the renders really took advantage of it. But now that I have these new cards, um, I'm excited to see what that does with Redshift. So that'll be the next step. Get Redshift installed, get all of our, all of our plugins installed, and then we'll be uh, playing around in Cinema. Let's do this. Okay, so the machine's ready to go. I, I, I got Cinema 4D installed, I got Redshift installed, I got all of our um, Grayscale Gorilla plugins installed, and so I think we're ready um, to jump into the next section, which is open Cinema 4D and see what this thing can do. That's really the reason I got it, is so that I can um, play with Redshift and start to learn some of these third-party renders and do it with some hardware that, that makes it really sing. So um, while I still have a lot of questions and some things I wanna tweak about the PC experience, um, I think we're ready to jump in. I, mostly I'm just excited to jump in to Cinema 4D and Redshift and really see what this thing can do. So join us in the next video where we do just that. If you have any suggestions or questions about this whole process, please hit us up down in the comments. Really appreciate it. And again, if you want to check out this machine um, or other you know machines that we use around Grayscale Gorilla, we also have that on our resources resources page. Jeez, as well. With that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye, everybody. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Chad Ashley. He just got almost the same machine I did, the same PC. He had the same fan noise issues that I'm having, and he told me that he fixed it by going into the BIOS and a whole bunch of things I don't understand. So we're gonna call him, and he's gonna try to walk us through this fan noise issue that it sounds like he solved.